what's good my youtube family once again you're welcome to a new content right in this particular channel well i have something very interesting to share with you all today and it's actually concerning jabolani kumalo duduzule zuma weapons with the daughter of jacob zuma and of course not leaving behind jacob zuma himself well in a dramatic turn of events jabolani kumalo has accused the daughter of jacob zuma we're talking about duduzule zuma of forging his signature on a document submitted to the IEC. Well, this document, which Kumalo claims he did not prepare, allegedly aimed to create the impression that Jacob Zuma is now the president. Well, that was actually the context of this particular uh, letter. It was just to make it look like he has stepped down and now he wants Jacob Zuma to actually replace him and be the head of the MK party. But right now, Jabulani Kumalo is saying openly that he did not do that. Like he did not write the letter, he did not uh, put it to anywhere, he did not actually display it on any platform, and he did not submit it. So right now, there's a lot of controversy surrounding this particular situation because we have to first of all understand where exactly the letter came from, how the person that made this letter was able to come up with Jabulani's signature, and why exactly the letter could not be taken down. But right now, it's almost like it's getting very heated because Duduzile Zuma has actually stayed quiet. According to Kumalo, the document in question surfaced recently and of course, it has sparked significant controversy and confusion. In his own words, he said something like, I was shocked when I saw my signature on a document I had no knowledge of. He also continued saying, I did not prepare or authorize any such document and the contents are completely fabricated. Well, Duduzule Zuma, who happens to be the daughter of former president Jacob Zuma, has been at the center of various political marginations in recent years. This latest accusation adds to a growing list of controversies surrounding her. While Kumalo's claim, if proven true, could have severe legal and political implications on not just uh, Duduzule Zuma, but of course on Jacob Zuma himself. What well, the document reportedly presented to the IEC suggested that Zuma was attempting to position herself at an, as a, or an ally in a significant political role using Kumalo's name and purported endorsement. The forgery, Kumalo insists, was intended to deceive the IEC and the public creating a false narrative about Zuma's political maneuvers. While well, the IEC has acknowledged receipt of the document and confirmed it is conducting a thorough investigation into the matter. I mean, this is very much better because by so doing, they could actually get to know where exactly this letter came from and who exactly forged the letter. Well, they actually said something like, the integrity of our electoral processes is paramount. We take any allegations of forgery or manipulation very seriously and will ensure that the truth is uncovered. Legal experts have weighed in on the potential consequences of the allegations. Believe me, forgery and submission of falsified documents to the IEC could lead to criminal charges including fraud. Well, the legal analyst called Nomsa Dlamini said something like, if Kumalo's claims are substantiated, we could be looking at a serious breach of electoral law. The ramifications of Zuma could be severe, both legally and politically. While the political fallout from this incident is already becoming apparent, opposition parties have seized on the controversy to criticize uh, this particular lady we are talking about Duduzule Zuma and of course Jacob Zuma's whole party because they feel like maybe some people in the party were actually part of this particular plan well right now Kumalo has called for a full forensic examination of the document and any associated communications he said something like I want the truth to come out I will not stand by and why my name is being used in such a deceitful manner. Well, as the investigations unfold, the South African public and political observers will be watching closely. 
the outcome could have significant implications for the Duzulezu mass political career and of course the whole of South Africa when she's concerned. Thank you.